The four most common types of ad fraud are pixel stuffing, which is the placement of an ad in an invisible pixel that's not seen on a page, ad stacking, where ad placements will be layered on top of each other. Only one will be seen, but an impression will be counted. Misrepresentation or misidentification of a domain that can be declared as a quality site, but in reality, it is a illegitimate site made to deceive the buyer. Ad injections, where a publisher is not given permission to an application or a browser to insert an ad onto their page. The bad actors in ad fraud are anywhere from an individual that is looking to set up shop and make a quick buck to large organizations that have sophisticated distribution models to create illegitimate traffic that pulls from marketers' sites. One of the biggest ways for a brand to realize they've been exposed to a high amount of fraud is the actual performance of their campaign. When non-human traffic, fraudulent traffic, makes up a major component of a online program, the performance will not be there. A secondary way for a brand to understand if they've been exposed to ad fraud is that the metrics are too good. A 100% viewability or zero exposure to ad fraud as measured by any third party is not likely to be legitimate traffic. 